Hi, welcome back to my Allen Bradley PLC test match. Today we're going to do a quick video on how to set up the 1747 UIC, which is a USB to DH485 or RS232 communication adapter. Now, this particular one I've got, I picked up from I'm not sure where but it doesn't have the actual Allen Bradley sticker on it but it works exactly the same and is <laughs> built the same. So anyhow, it, in this case it's using a C13 cable 1747 C13 to plug into the front port of the 503 and it's got a USB connector at the end. Now this uh, cable looks like an Ethernet cable, but it's not. The pinout is different. Um, there's one of the uh, pins has nothing in it, and it, if you don't, if you try and use a USB cable, you're not going to have any success. Uh, or pardon me, an Ethernet cable, you're not going to have any success. So um, get the pin out. I can supply it if you need it, but uh, you have to use the right cable. So. We'll get swung around here. I'll set the camera up next to the processor and uh, we'll just step through it real fast. Thanks a lot. Okay, here we are back. I have the uh, UIC plugged into my USB port. Now, the very I'm running Windows 10, or Windows 7, pardon me, uh, but 10, whichever you're using. Um, I always suggest go first to your device manager once you've got the UIC plugged in and it powered up. And as you can hopefully see, there it is. There's a green light. shows that it has. Okay. I go to, and we'll just get swung around just a bit. Now it should show up in your ports. Com and LPT1. I'll just maximize this. There it is there. And it says here here it is here. In this particular case, when I plugged it in, it says USB serial port COM 1414. So you know where it is. So we close that. And we go into, back this up, RS links, and there's links, and we'll just maximize it just because communications, configure drivers, and we're going to add new. drop down box and we go down to uh, DF1 there we go DH485 UIC devices click it add new UIC1 or change you know would it put whatever name you'd like there click OK and you see it comes up with a slightly different box than your regular one so now we have to go down to the correct port and in this case we said COM14. Pick a station number because zero is generally the processor so I, I don't know, let's go for 13, why not. Hit OK and we're done configuration. Now we'll plug, let's go back a little bit and we'll go into our uh, who active screen and now you be nice to me and there's our DH485 over there and we pick it and it shows our workstation which is a computer so we'll take our C13 cable We'll plug it into the front and this little switch here really 
hard to see if I don't get it in the right spot. It has to be set on DH-485. The other side is, is RS-232, which you can use on all the processors. So we just swing this around, and we plug this into our front port, and you probably, there you go, you can see it says it's uh, seeing something on 485. Go back to our screen, there's our processor, it's uh, station 1, which uh, sometimes is. Go over to the other side here. There's our, and see what it says for. We've got remove diagnostics DDE monitor diagnostics configure driver. There is no properties on the 485. That was uh, something that came later on in the uh, Slick 500. So that's how simple it is. There we are done. Uh, if you need to use it again, you can. And like I say, you can. The nice thing about this is it's a multi, multi-purpose. <laughs> um, you can use it RS-232, which you can use on you know all these uh, processors come with RS-232 or DH-485, and you can also upload, download uh, the older panel views with it. Thanks a lot. Uh, Subscribe if you'd like. Click the bell for uh, when I put new things up. Have a great week. Bye.